Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you how to call a decision table from a data transform. The requirement can be any type of requirement. In real time, we may come across different different situations. Sometimes we need to call a decision table from a data transform. Sometimes we should call a decision tree from a data transform, etc. In that case, how do we call a decision table from a data transform? For example, in the work hello class, I have a one decision table test DT. Assuming similarly in your case also the class name and a decision table name. Now this my decision table is having just one property first name. If the first name equal to property name is first name. If first name equal to Suresh, uh, this DT is returning value 1. If the first name value is Ramesh, returning 2, otherwise 3. Very simple decision table. Now I want to call this decision table from a data transform. For example, uh, I, I have a one data transform assuming. So from this data transform, I want to call one decision table. So is there any OOTB function provided by the PEGA? Yes, we have a one OOTB function call it as a obtain value. What is this? Obtain value is the OOTB function provided by the PEGA which is used to call a decision table and decision tree and a map value etc. See this one function name. So obtain value. So decision tree obtain value, decision table obtain value and the map obtain value and okay etc. At the same time uh, this function is having there are two functions with different signatures. We call it as a polymorphism. Two functions with the function name is different but signature is different. Function name is same signature is different. Now here see this one can you open this function decision table obtain value. So by default, this function is expecting four parameters. So one is a tools, which is nothing but a public API. Another one is clipboard page, my step page, which is nothing but a clipboard page. I mean, that means page name, page name, nothing but a class name in which page context or in which class context the decision table should be called in which context in which class context or in which page context the decision table should be called and this is the decision table and yellow missing properties you know right whenever you call a decision table from a activity map property decision table there is an option call it as a yellow missing properties see the same the same property here the same option here is yellow missing properties now I want to use the same function in my test DT sorry in my test DT DT3 to call the decision table test DT. So I will use the same function this function from my data transform to call this decision table. Okay now I have already such a signature see this one. Okay, so PEGA rules decision table. If you want to call a decision tree, you can use decision tree. What is the function name? Obtain value. And uh, this function is expecting four parameters. This function is expecting four parameters. The first parameter is tools, right? Always we will refer to whenever we want to refer public API, PEGA API, we will use tools. Next one is the page. Which page context? Because the page is nothing page is belongings to particular class okay in which context in which page context or in which class context you should call that particular decision table okay now i'm just referring primary page primary page and my decision table name is test dt why because this test dt is also belongings to work hello class and my decision my data transform is also in the work hello class that's why i mentioned as a primary page and 
the decision table name is test dt and the fourth parameter is missing value so true or false if you want you can give it as a true or false your wish but you no need to give it as well also okay okay this is the fourth parameter yellow missing properties now go back just click on submit now this decision table returns a one value if you want to map that value to the parameter or one particular property answer one i want to map the return value of this decision table to particular property that's it click on say action run click on run success now go back to the clipboard you can see the standard thread standard thread run record primary page what is the return value because answer one it doesn't have any return value why let's open this answer one okay text input and before that let me set first name value ramesh action run run clipboard now you directly refer in the clipboard run record primary page the first name value ramesh i am passing from the same primary page and the decision table written value which is mapping to this answer one property is 2 why because if you can open the decision table first name suresh written value 1 second name ramesh the written value is true so why in the previous case why it is not written any value what i am doing is just to remove this property just click on save run click on run okay it does not return any value go to the clipboard run record primary page see both answer one first name value empty so now just to change true save see answer one value is, that is the yellow missing properties so now what i did is i just added yellow missing properties value is true even if the property is missing if the property is missing yeah, because it should allow so i just added the value is true in this way you can call the decision table from a data transform by using the function name call it as a obtain value okay now if you want you can go back to the function go to the java step here so internally tools dot get connect file utils dot obtain value my step page decision table be yellow missing properties but you know right uh, you cannot find out this function actually you cannot find out these functions actually because these functions are present in the java pega api pega api because we cannot see the function implementations of the pega apis those are in the jar files okay ultimately this is the java code right so already this is a pre-compiled code compiled code which is nothing but a jar files okay that means already this code is compiled and converted into a classes so those classes are converted into a jar files okay so that's why we cannot see this implementation so i hope you understand this simple how do you call a uh, decision table from a data transform similarly you can try with the decision tree similarly you can try with the map value as well map value as well thank you